What's up, guys? We are back on Roll Customs, and usually I I don't I never post a series back to back to back um, or back to back. Uh, so yesterday we did Roll Call Customs video. Today we're doing Roll Call Customs video. So the first thing is in yesterday's video, everybody was like, "Dude, change the color to yellow," and I was like, I went and looked at the different color color options, and I'll actually show you guys once we get back to the shop. But yellow doesn't look that good on this truck. But I was like, you know what? Orange is fairly close to yellow. Orange looks a lot better. I'll show you guys why yellow doesn't look that good. So I've been trying to get this service truck, this Freightliner service truck we just got for the shop. It's going to be the shop service truck. I've been trying to get it working. And I got this magic hook here. And the magic hook, I can't fully get it to work when I attach to a truck. It like lags out the truck. There's still something going on with this that I can't figure out. Man, I, 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 I guess I need to watch like a tutorial or something. Also, the truck always rolls for a ways. It's so weird. I'll shut it off and I'll have momentum and it'll just roll away. It, I don't know. Oh, there it goes. I'm finally in a uh, tractor or whatever. But we also, okay, so Roll Crew Customs is going to be selling work trucks. So what I did is I went out and bought all these. We got, I tried to keep them in stock. The only thing is I did put a gas and fuel tank in the back. That was probably a bad idea to put that in. But I want them completely stocked because this is what we're going to be selling at our dealership here and then we also have campers so we got the trucks back we got the campers back so we'll pull the campers back with the trucks uh and then we got these forwards one thing is i noticed this is just a little too like it's a little too bluish i guess look at look at this back here maybe it's the sunlight or something like here here's a blue and then you go up here and this is almost like purplish bluish kind of up here that's the one thing I noticed on these Ford, and it's going to bother me. I'm going to be like walking by and I'm like, oh, man, I hate that. But uh, right now, we're going to pull them out back all day. And the first thing we're going to take is the Chevy. I don't know if it's a K3500. If it was a K3500 Dually. We'll say 3500 Dually. <laughs> we're pulling her back. Now, last video, some kid in the comment section, I think his name was Frank. He was like, dude, squad, I'm unsubscribing because he got brown on that truck. It just looks horrible, man. I'm unsubscribing. And then some dude, some dude commented below and he was like, brother, that is a horrible reason to unsubscribe or whatever. And uh, it's kind of interesting, that comment section over there. There's a lot of crazy stuff going down there. Anyway, so we're going to be pulling her back with the, <laughs> with the dually. I'm going to take her down the road. Now, I don't, it's just, this is an old truck and this is a brand new camper. And I feel like they just, they, they might match somewhat, but they just, it's not made to be pulling this big a camper and stuff. Maybe, you know what, maybe it's fine too. But we'll be pulling her back with the Chevy. I just, it's a, it's a cool truck. Now this truck's made for campers. I just don't think the truck's made for this type of camper. <laughs> it's made for like those, uh, those like air, air stream ones or whatever. Those streamlined campers. So I'm full throttle. And one thing I noticed is these campers, I think it's the campers themselves. The campers, like they pull hard. You need a lot of power to pull these things. Even in the other video when I had the power stroke, I was full throttle and it was it was only able to get up to like 50 mile an hour. This truck's only able to get up like 30 mile an hour. I've been full throttle the whole time. It's barely hitting 30 mile an hour. So these, it's kind of realistic. I, I do enjoy that. That like, you, it takes a lot of power to pull these campers, which is kind of, it's kind of cool. I like it. One thing is, dude, you can, oh wait, shoot, I should have adjusted it. Maybe it's a bad time to adjust it on the roadway, but you on these campers, you can adjust so much to it. So here, I'm raising the camper up. It actually edits made this camper. It's released, by the way. And so you can adjust that, and then you can raise the height of the camper, which I think it's at a fine height. And then you can also fold there out, in case you guys didn't know. Oh wait, oh, oh, the, oh, the truck unfolds, the, oh. I didn't know that. Okay, wrong button, but the camper unfolds too. I know I shouldn't be doing it on the roadway. I'll show you guys it once we get there. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it. I just, I love messing with all the buttons and stuff you can do to this camper. Okay, one thing I noticed is if you put, if you stay close to the camper, you can hear like wind rushing by the camper. You guys hear that? I don't know if you guys can hear that. Maybe I don't have the game volume turned up all the way, but I can hear like wind rushing by the camper or something like that. Now, as far as the camping yard, right now it's horrible. I got the trailer yard back here, but what I want, what I want to do is I want to put campers up front somewhere. I don't know where though. Something somewhere nice. Obviously, that camper is not going. Right, maybe we'll just maybe we'll put them right here in the in our new grass. 
I don't know. I want the dealership looking nice. Tell me where I should be putting these campers. For now, campers just getting dropped off right there. And I'll put another one. Yeah, okay, here, what I'll do. I'm not gonna... Oh, actually, check this out. Oh, I, I screwed that up. But anyways, I did get rid of manual attach just to see... Just to see if it works better, this video, without manual attach. Okay, so it's kind of nice that I can fold out that tailgate and be more realistic. And then attach back here. What we'll do, fold the tailgate up. Oh, wait. There we go. Tailgate's now up. Oh, shoot. Okay, so the camper's sliding out right there. Hold on. Actually, I got a sweet idea. Yes. I'll go here. Okay, so this is gonna, to set up this idea, it's gonna be, huh, let me, uh, I'm gonna just, oh shoot, is there a hole there or something? Anyways, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, yes, this will look sweet if I can, uh, okay, so, instead of, actually, okay, here, what I'm gonna do, I need a, I need a crazy truck. Anyways, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a camper out here, I'm gonna have it folded out, so these will pop out, and I'm gonna have a sweet truck connected up to it. And in the back, I'm going to have the tailgate under, or the, the camper tailgate, the camper, camper tailgate, the camper tailgate coming out. And then I'm going to have a razor going up into it. So like when people drive by, they're like, oh, that looks like a sick setup, dude. I'm going to pay $200,000 for that whole setup there. That's what I'm basically going to do here. I don't know if I have enough razors and I got to figure out what camper I want. I think this camper looks cooler over this brown camper. So I, I'm going to switch all these out, meaning... I'll disconnect this one. I know it got unrealistic. I disconnect it. The brown one will probably. The brown ones. I don't know where to put the brown one. Brown one may just go out back for now. We may just take the brown one out back. I'm gonna pull her down. Connect to this one. There we go. And pull the brown one around out back. I'll probably leave it connected to the Chevy for now. But I gotta figure out what truck is gonna go in the front of this. I want the person to drive by and be like, Dane, that looks sweet. I'm taking it all. I don't know if I want the Duramax on there. You know what? The F450. I think I'm going to go F450 with on, on that. That'll, that'll be sweet. For now, this is just going in the back right now. This camper, I'll just... Oh, for now. Okay. For now, I'm just getting DOS back here quick. I hate to do this. It, it's kind of unorganized, and I like to be organized with all, all my stuff. But we got a couple of trailers. We got a camper back here. We also have this Duramax. The only thing I dislike about it is the rims. There we go. Oh, look at this. I don't know. What's the difference? 20 years? 20 years of difference? No. Because that would be that'd put this at like 2,000. No, this is probably like this is probably like 30 years of difference right here of trucks. You got a Chevy 35 iron dually. And you got a Chevy 35 iron dually. <laughs> 30 years difference right here. Um, dang. This is diesel, I guess. This is gas. Uh, anyways, what we're going to do is... I don't I have the F450? Oh, there's the F450. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I said I was probably going to keep this as a work truck, but I'm going to customize this truck to make it the best darn camping truck you've ever seen. So I'm going to take her back in the shop quick. I don't know why I was sitting out here. And I'm going to turn this to match that camper. So we can either go black or like a gray. But I, holy crap, this is loud. I just really want it to match that camper. Uh, okay, this is all going down for a second. I don't know why this is so loud. And our game's lagging, so I'm gonna save the game quick. But I'm gonna pull this in here, and I'm gonna take the flatbed off. I think I said this was gonna be a, a work truck for the shop, but it's not. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this into the perfect camper setup truck. Okay, she is on there. Ah, okay, let me shut her off quick, and then of course you gotta raise her up. Oh, actually, you guys... Okay, so I recorded for like 20 minutes. I realized it wasn't recording desktop sound. So I had to re-record everything. That's why I got a lot of stuff done. You guys didn't see it. Oh, shoot. What's going on there? Anyways, the only way that you can customize stuff is to actually put it on the lift and get it up high on the lift. Because here, in case you guys didn't see, then this a pops and you can actually customize it. Or this appears. A pops. Is that what I said? So I don't know if we should go black. It's either like a black or... Ooh, that looks sweet. Yes, 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 dude. And then you have the platinum badge. Okay, I'm definitely going that. Nice. Now, I don't know. Okay, so stock. I, I want a stock bed on it. I don't want the antenna. We probably, with a camper, you probably don't want the diesel tank or anything on the back. I'm going to take that off. Toe tune. 
it's okay to have a little tune on there. So basically, one thing we could do is rims. Okay, okay, we're gonna try a couple of different things. I'm gonna try these. You guys tell me what you think of these rims on here because it's basically a stock truck and then they got these crazy rims on here. Tell me what you think. Yay or nay? I gotta probably get it down off there. I, I'm thinking stock. You guys know I'm a stock guy. I'm gonna think, okay, I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go stock. But if you guys want those, let me know. Huh. Dude, honestly? Okay, I'm gonna keep that as stock for now, but those didn't look too bad. I, th I think they might have went good with it. Okay, one thing about this is you gotta, I don't know if the front end's catching or something's catching. You gotta drive her a little bit. Once I pull it in the sunlight, it may look a little better too. I need to make a driveway around this entrance over here. So here's what we got. And you know what? Maybe this doesn't match too good. F450 Platinum. If this doesn't match... Wait, do we have a gooseneck? We should have a gooseneck here. Hopefully we have a gooseneck. We do. Okay, we're good. You know what? That truck doesn't match. We gotta go take this back. Okay. I gotta switch this truck around. We can't go this silver color. I think the color we gotta do is the black color. Yeah, we gotta take her back and most likely get this black color. Okay, so what I basically did is blacked it out. What do you guys think? So I went with the, I didn't go with the stock rims. Went with the other rims. I was like, you know what? This is gonna be kind of a custom setup. The guy who's gonna have the money to buy this, it's gonna be some like celebrity who just wants some sick looking setup. So I was like, you know what? Let's just black her all out. Let's go with the, I, I forgot what the rim name, the, the names of the rims were. I'm not good with, with rims or tires at all. Uh, and like brands and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go back here and check what the name of the rims were. Dude, all red looks pretty sweet there, right too. Patriots, black. Oh, I'm definitely not pronouncing that right. Black Alcos and Patriots slash Patriots. Yeah, I'm not pronouncing that right. So the F450 is gonna be connected. Oh man, hopefully this looks good. You know what? Maybe I should black out the camper. Oh, yes, that would look sweet if we blacked out the camper. I feel like if you, hmm, this might be a sweet setup if we just went everything black. What are you guys thinking? Black out the camper. Uh, okay, for now, we'll leave the camper like that. It, dude, we could have the midnight. Oh, okay, I got to black out that camper. We have to buy, hold on, let me see this in the shop quick. I think it'd be sweet if we buy all blacked out camper and then buy all blacked out razor. But let's see what it would look like. I don't know. Maybe it won't look good. Okay, hold on. Let me. Okay, I'm buying this. We're, we're buying this quick. And then here, while we're at it, let me see. Do we? Have, please tell me I put a razor in here. We got the razors in here. So I'm gonna go all black razor here. Uh, okay, we'll go. Oh, you know what? Let, no, let's go. Let's go aftermarket rims since we're going aftermarket rims with everything pretty much. We're aftermarket rims. Uh, I don't know how black we should go. We could go that black or that black. Oh, that looks pretty sweet. Okay, let me go this black again too. Midnight edition. Yes, yes. Okay, we're going all midnight edition, baby, on this. So we'll go F450 blacked out, trailer blacked out. Let me take here. I'll take, I'll even drive the F450. Oh. Oh, that looks sick. Just like that position I put it in. Okay, let me, uh, <sighs> I'm actually pumped about this setup. We got going here. Maybe it would look better though. I don't know how this all blacked out camper is going to look. Guys, to be honest, it may, it may not look that good. I think this could be the coolest setup we have yet. Now, I apologize. I'm all over the place on literally everything. Just tossing campers wherever I can put them. I know it's horrible to just play like this, but I need to get this done all blacked out, baby gonna be sweet okay uh for now okay for now <laughs> this camper is one of my favorites though it just doesn't i want everything all blacked out that's how i want her so i'll see you guys once we get back to the dealership there it is i meant by the way i meant the camper dealership i guess or the place i'm buying this oh man maybe this doesn't actually i don't know maybe i should have uh, I don't know about this. 
It is all blacked out. Hold on. Wait, well, let me let me let me see something. What if we went camper all black? So this will be all black. And then what I'll do is I'll put I'll put Yeah, that looks a little Let me buy this one. Here, let me go. go. This or 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 this color. I don't know. It's either the Agco or this Onyx. What about this? Okay, we'll see what this looks like. That way it just has like a little different shade going through it. Because right now you can... It's just one black little... Huh. What about this one? Maybe the all black is a little crazy to be honest. I, I think I should have the white stripes going through it. Some type of white stripe. Okay, I'm buying campers galore here for the dealership. We better be able to sell all these... I'll go that. That looks a little better. Please look better. Where'd our other one go? Where did these campers? Okay. Oh, it's back here. Ah, uh, please look good. I don't know. It's tough to get an all blacked out camper, guys. It just doesn't. It doesn't look that good like look at that that looks sweet maybe i just need to not do the all blacked out theme okay we're doing all blacked out theme there we go we're going this one there we go oh i did it doesn't look too bad so what i'll do now is okay first of all i'll fold her out while we're here but i'm gonna put uh i'm gonna put this down quick and we're gonna load up yes there we go okay we are gonna, oh, that looks pretty cool. The F450 Platinum. Maybe this is, I feel like it's just like, you need some textures with it. Okay, anyways, we're gonna take the, uh, where's my razor at? My razor's over here. We'll load up the razor in the back of here. I could get, you know what? We have a black KTM dirt bike too. I could get the KTM dirt bike in here too. Yes, yes, let's do it while we're at her. Uh, it's technically, oh, and Can-Am. Yes, okay, so we're going everything all blacked out. I think we should be able to fit all this stuff in here. Oh, wait. Are there two can amps? No, there's only one. Okay. Uh, I think I have a dirt bike in here, too. Oh, we could go the the Mahindra, too. There we go. We got dirt bike in here. So, this is what you're going to get with the Midnight Edition package. I got to figure out price for this thing, though. So, I'm going to put this off, like, to the left so we can fit it. <laughs> I don't know if we can fit everything in the toy hauler, guys. I'm going to put this way off to the left here. All the way up here. You know what? We'll be fine. And then I'll put the dirt bike off to the right. And I'll put the four-wheeler in the back. Please work. Where are these spawn at? Oh, okay. Spawn on the other side. Oh, here they are. Okay, so dirt bike is going on the right side of that razor. And then ATV hopefully will fit in here, too. <laughs> oh shoot oh no no fit please fit there we go we're good we're good right there okay and then uh let me tab around darn it okay and then the atv will just go in uh the can and we'll just go in right behind these guys oh yeah we got room to you know what let's fit two atvs I want not? I want to jam pack this full. We could probably put a dirt bike down the middle too, down the middle of these ATVs. Let me buy one more, and then this will be the midnight package. We could advertise that advertise this for a whole family too. Uh, do I? Hopefully, I went tuned on the other one. <laughs> Dude, you have so much room in here. I didn't realize that. Oh shoot! What the heck was that? There you go, right there. Okay, we are loaded down. I didn't realize how much room there was in these toy haulers. Look at that, this is perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna fold everything up, especially these side things, so we don't just get uh, just smoked by a semi taking off our our uh, part of our camper. Fold this in. Okay, time to hit the road with the Power Stroke F450. Yeah, baby. Hopefully there's no oncoming traffic. I don't know. What are you guys thinking of Midnight Edition? Maybe it's... I feel like it's just too black. You need some texture through it, like some gray colors or something going through the side of the camper. 
That, that's just my opinion right here. <laughs> but here it is, Midnight Edition. If I guess, you know, if you, if you have, like, an opinion, like, on what I should do with the camper, put it down below, because maybe I... I, I, I'm just not feeling something's off here something's off I feel like I could do better with the midnight edition maybe with some textures through it on the side some like gray or brown stripes through it or something okay so now I'm basically gonna landscape I'm gonna basically gonna decorate the dealership with this camper setup and it should look pretty sweet in our new grass spot over here I'm gonna unhook the trailer put the slide outs and then unload some of the toys so it looks like a nice little camping setup over here maybe I, I could probably scooch up a little more okay so right there what we'll do get the slide out going get the back end going right right there so I'm gonna oh there we go I'm gonna unhook the trailer I'm gonna pull the f450 like right here Perfect. I want to keep the lights on, but I think if I truck... Okay, no, we're good. Never mind. Because the lights just make it look sweet. And then I'm going to start unloading some of these. Uh, here. Can-Ams. Shoot, this might be kind of tough to get off. I have a feeling it's not going to work out the best. There we go. We got one Can-Am over there. I'll put the other... Put the other out front here. I'm going to get a dirt bike quick. I should probably shut these off because these are going to get annoying the engine run. Uh, let me grab the dirt bike out quick. I wonder if I could drive through this camper. But we'll put the dirt bike out right here. And then I'll get the razor and I'll like, you know, I'll let people know that oh shoot, there's a lot of room back here. There's a it's a toy hauler, you know? Oh shoot. Is that tire? No! That tire's completely stuck there. Oh let me try twisting it or something. Oh shoot. Oh dude, what is happening? I think the razor's apart. Oh man. Oh my Oh no, 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 no. What is happening? Oh my gosh. Okay, I finally got it out of the razor after going like full throttle forever. There we go. And I'm just going to put it like right here. And then we'll have the truck. Let me, uh, okay, I got to put the truck a little closer to the camper. But this will be the, you know what? Maybe I should leave the truck connected to the camper. We'll see. I'll pull the truck up right, right here. And then, kabam. We have the F450, the camper. I, I feel like I should have it connected. It might look, uh. It may look a little better connected, but there's the midnight edition setup. <laughs> right there. Oh, that looks pretty cool, actually. So, this is what I'm going to sell. I don't know. Truck, we'll say seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 camper. I don't know the camper, though. I'm, I'm going to say complete package. $200,000 package. I don't know. Is that reasonable? I have no idea. But anyways, guys, this is going to be the end of the episode. Tell me what you think of Midnight Edition. Also, we got, I still got to get those other campers back here on Expendables so we can actually sell them and stuff too. If you guys did enjoy the video, let me know. Hit that like button. And hey, I will see you later. Seriously, thank you for watching so much. Thanks, guys.